Hey guys, what is up? I am back with another video and this one needs a little bit of explaining. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into the video. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So the clips that you are about to see is my uncle basically teaching me how to change a tire. And it's very useful for some teens like me who are getting ready to drive by themselves. And you know, if they're ever on the road and their tire goes flat then you know there's some useful information but I wouldn't just like throw some clips out there and be like you know here you go have fun kind of thing so yeah this is just me kind of explaining what's happening in the next few clips see there's a notch right here oh. so you can line you're gonna have to lower the jack down yeah, so it'll fit say. under there but then you can get it right under there and hook it in that notch how that this thing? Well, yep I want to see. <laughs> so the part you had your fingers on, you're going to want to be uh, facing out so you can put the handle on it. So you're going to spin, spin it around. There you go. Oh, oh. It is a little bit too low. Yeah, well, that's fine. We can always raise it. You just want oh, to know yeah, if it was low true. enough to fit under there. And it is. So put it under? Yep, like where it is? slide it under right through right now. Okay. 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 So this little end over here is made to fit on that to raise to so you can spin it to raise the jack but it should also fit over those lug nuts does it yes it does okay oh see they put those on with an impact wrench like oh, a, wait, no, you know they don't want them to fall off let me try wow it's so hard it's And that's that's what you want to do. You just want to get it so it turns a little bit. Okay. Okay. I want you to do that with all the rest of those too, as best you can. If you can't, I'll help you. If I just like it, it might. Yeah. You just you just yeah. You can oh, you can pull on it. That's fine. Oh, it's not down. It's, it's moving. Move it. So keep keep doing that. You want to loosen it right up. Mm. I'm getting a leg workout <laughs> over here. There you go. Is it in the turn? Yeah. Yeah, as close to that angle as you can get is probably best. Are you okay? Me struggling the entire time. Okay, so now, just like you were spinning that, you're going to want to spin the jack up using that. Okay, so you're, you're going to want to, you said you're going to want to raise the jack. So that's the first thing you want to do is raise the jack so that the car, that, that lip that's under there, is sitting in the, in the slot on the jack. Now it's not going to wiggle side to side, right? Which is what it would do is if it was hanging in there loose. Okay. So now you're going to use that and you're going to jack the car up by turning that crank the same direction. That you just work. Yep. Okay. This, I want to see if I'll get that out of the way because you could scratch the crank with us. this uh, so you can get leverage on it again there you go and just keep doing that until the car is like six feet in the air <laughs> there you go. two thousand years later that's jacked up great <laughs> Now you're going to want to spin, use that handle to spin those lug nuts off the rest of the way. Actually, what's a good idea to do is if you're doing this on the side of the road or somewhere, is like set them in here. So they literally are not going to get kicked or rolled right. away or something. The idea is to get it off one way or another. All right, and we can set that down. Yep, now I'll go ahead and grab that tire by the top and just kind of wiggle it off if you need to. You don't have to lift it, you just wiggle it. There you go. Save your back and just roll that off to the side a little bit. Okay, so now you're going to want to put this on so you won't move those lug nuts. Put them in your pocket or do something with them so they won't get lost. Because sometimes the ground won't be nice and dry and, you know, firm like this. So just grab it. Yes, that does make sense. Got it. Awesome. So 
Good job. So get a lug nut out of your pocket. Yep. Stay. <laughs> it's like a dog. I'll put another one on. Now you want to use that just like you used it before, but you want to turn them the way you were just turning them. So that it flattens the tire up a little bit and then we'll lower it down on the ground so the tire is gripping the driveway a little bit, but not really putting all the weight of the car on it. Okay. Lift the handle up. No, you're fine. That's fine. Lift the handle up. There you go. Yep. Swing it around. There you go. Look at you. Got it figured already. So the tire shouldn't spin. Okay. So what, what I'm going to suggest is when you do this, instead of just going in a circle, because we want the tire to make sure the tire gets as flat as possible, mm -hmm. kind of skip one. So go, go to this one, then skip this one, go to okay. this one, then skip this one, and go to this one, and you'll hit all five. Okay. But you won't be kind of clamping the tire at an angle, or there will be less chance of that, I should say. Look at that, you remembered that first time, that was awesome. You tighten them up as tight as you possibly can, and then I'll it's still moving, tweak it. Well, it's gonna wiggle, but it's not spinning. Don't forget, you just watch the car and see what the car's doing. The car's going up. <laughs> you did it, or... It's like, oh, wait a minute. You might be able to just oh. spin that with your hands now because it's not really holding up the car anymore. There you go. So now you can probably pull, it, you out. Can pull it out. Voila. Because now we're going to have to adjust it so it fits back in the holder. You know, my back kind of hurts a little bit. <laughs> but Better here than the side of the road. Right. It's true. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. For the tire changing lesson quality content. Okay, that is all for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next Monday.